Hello, good day. I'm Chef Jamewell, and now I will make a chocolate mousse. Firstly, I boil a pot of water. Once the water has boiled, I'm going to put a bowl on top of the pot, as long as the water isn't touching the bowl. 150 grams dark chocolate. I just use chocolate chips. After you have put everything into a mixture, double boiler just start mixing for the chocolate and gradually melts. Next, I'm removing the chocolate bowl from the stove. Immediate adding 125 grams of whipping cream. Mix it well, then leave it to cool. Next, I'm adding 175 grams of whipping cream into a bowl and then start whipping it. And then, I'm going to add the chocolate mixture for this step. You need to be quick with your movements. Use a whisk or an egg bear to immediately mix the ingredients or else the chocolate is going to harden. It looks smooth, already smells so good. Into the fridge for about 1 to 2 hours. After 1 to 2 hours period in the fridge, and the mixture has become denser, you got yourself a chocolate mousse. Now, I put garnish on top. There you go. This is your chocolate mousse. Mmm, it's perfect. Now I'm gonna make a panacotta with the strawberry sauce. First, I put skim milk, 250 ml. Eight grams of gelatin, fifty grams of sugar. Mix well on simmer. Then add the cream, two hundred fifty ml. Do not boil. And a piece of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla extra. All right, you mix it well. After that, put in a dessert glass and refrigerate two to three hours. Now I'm gonna put the sliced strawberry for 100 grams. Half cup of sugar. Two tablespoons of water. Then simmer for five to 10 minutes. A 
after 5 to 10 minutes, add teaspoon of lemon juice. Mix it well and let it cool to the room temp. Then refrigerate until they're ready to serve. After the two to three hours, your panna cotta is ready. There you go. All right. Your panna cotta topped with the strawberry sauce. Yeah. The ramekin. Very beautiful panna cotta. And of course the garnish. There you go.